Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be video number two for my Brooklyn Brew Shop Everyday IPA uh, Brewing Series. So it's been about two weeks uh, since the beer has been fermenting in the glass carboy over here. And so today is now gonna be the day we're gonna be transferring the beer into our bottles. And so the first step that we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be uh, sanitizing our beer and any equipment that's gonna be in contact with the, the beer. And then we're also gonna be um, priming and conditioning the beer as well. So we're gonna take some honey as the recipe suggests, and we're gonna combine that with some uh, water, and we're going to use that to prime the beer, um, also known as carbonating the beer. So there's some yeast that's still active. As you can see in the carboy, there's a lot of sediment um, and most of the sugars have been converted to alcohol so far, but we still need to um, use that remaining yeast and, and provide sugar within the bottle so it can actually carbonate our beer. And that's gonna take another two weeks before the beer is gonna be ready to consume. So let's get started. All right, so we're gonna take the, the honey water and we're gonna pour it into the bottling pot. And then next, we're gonna need to siphon the beer from the fermenter into the pot. So we're gonna take off the airlock and then we're going to take off the cap as well. And then my wife, Lisa, is gonna help me out. It's a lot easier when you have two people. So we're gonna put the, the racking cane into the fermenter and we're gonna put it right above the, the trub line, the sediment line, so that's the, the yeast. And uh, we're gonna siphon the beer into this pot. And so I'm gonna, yeah, you gotta put that into there and just make sure you put it above the, the trub line, the sediment line. We don't wanna get any of that. No, that goes in there. Um, and I'm gonna put this down here because gravity definitely makes it easier and helps. Okay, so before we put the racking cane into the uh, fermenter, we're gonna need to take the vinyl tubing and add sanitizer to it. Let me see this real quick. Okay, so you can see we have the sanitized solution in the tubing. And I'm gonna have Lisa put the racking can inside, make sure just to keep it above the trump line. And so I'm gonna go down here into the bottling pot, which has the sugar solution. And I'm gonna let the water flow into here. Oh, I did it work. 
close though, it's coming up. Yeah. So okay, so let's try that again. Where do you want me to do it though? Oh, that's beer, leave it, put it back in there. Where? Just leave it in there, yeah. Am I just siphoning it? Not sure. All right, so now that we got the beer into this pot, we're gonna take the racking cane and we're gonna siphon the beer into the bottles. I'm gonna also add this magic wand, which is gonna make the process much easier for bottling. Is there beer flowing from it? Mm -hmm. oh, there you go. So all you have to do is take the magic wand and you, there's a valve on the bottom and there's this button and you just push it on the bottom of the glass and it'll start to fill up slowly. Thank you. So I just finished bottling my beers. We got about seven pints of beer from the, the one gallon, so not too bad of a yield. Um, so the next thing we need to do is we gotta keep these bottled for about two weeks to let them carbonate. And so I'm gonna put these downstairs in our garage in the dark. Um, the temperature down there is usually between uh, 55 and, and 65 degrees, which is perfect temperature for an IPA. Um, so in two weeks, I'll bring these back upstairs and I'll refrigerate them for a few days. And for the third video, we'll do a, a taste test review. So thanks for watching the video.